Maybe you feel like your hair is thinning or it's kind of thin or your nails are a bit brittle and you're wondering what you can do for it. Uh, you sort of look around, maybe you go on the Googler Schmoogler, maybe you go to your local uh, store or what have you, look on the internet and you see biotin. Now, biotin is often marketed uh, for healthy nails and hair and you're wondering, could that help you? Does biotin actually help your hair? Does it help your nails? Well, I'm going to give you the answer today, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. This is a really important one because, honestly, biotin supplements are marketed like this all the time. Uh, first of all, let's start talking about what biotin is. Oh, first of all, well, actually, let's talk about where it's found because I think this is super interesting. The foods that biotin is found in uh, is things like eggs and milk even bananas, believe it or not, organ meats like liver, uh, but fish, seeds, nuts, and even sweet potatoes. So those of you who like sweet potatoes, you are in luck. Now, biotin serves a really important purpose in the body. It helps break down fats and carbohydrates uh, and, and other uh, substances in the body. It's super, super important. And people who have a true biotin deficiency, I mean, they don't have enough, uh, tend to have things like Aha, thinning hair um, or loss of hair on their entire body. That's actually sort of a, a later sort of complication, so to speak. They may have a rash on their face. Um, people with biotin deficiency, if it's severe enough, could even have seizures or neurological problems, even brittle nails, right? So a couple of these words are sounding very familiar. Brittle nails, uh, hair thinning, hair loss. Um, and, and perhaps that's where biotin supplements and biotin has sort of gotten this, um, this, this role as being something that's good for hair and nails. Now remember, um, that's what happens when people have a biotin deficiency. They have thinning hair, they have brittle nails, seizures, neurological problems if they've got a deficiency. Now you might be saying, well, who is likely to actually be deficient in biotin, not have enough of that in their body? Um, actually, uh, people who are pregnant or breastfeeding uh, are more likely to have a biotin deficiency. People who, um, who are chronic alcohol drinkers and people uh, with a certain rare genetic disorder, it's possible that other people could as well, okay? Uh, so I wanna be very clear about that, that the symptoms that I just mentioned are in people with a biotin deficiency. Now, what we're often talking about is people who very well may likely not have a biotin deficiency. Will taking a biotin supplement, if you have normal biotin levels, or if you don't know what your biotin levels are, because a lot of us don't even know what they are, if taking a supplement or taking biotin will actually cause your hair to be thicker, not thinning, will cause your nails to be uh, to be uh, sort of not brittle and things like that. Um, so this is the thing, all right? Um, I know this may not sound like good news, but there's actually not a lot of scientific evidence that says that taking a biotin uh, supplement or taking extra biotin will cause your nails uh, to be better, to cause your hair to be better. There's actually not a lot of evidence to that. Sorry about the siren, but I wanted a little fresh air, so, you know, it happens, okay? But yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of evidence that says that it will do that. We have some studies. The studies are really not that great and really can't you know, draw a lot of conclusions for us. But, okay, listen, I've got more to tell you that I don't run away. But for many people, taking biotin is likely safe. And there are some people who feel like biotin has helped their hair, has helped their nails. What I would say is if you want to take biotin to see if it works for you, helps you, or you feel better with it, the first thing you got to do is you got to talk to your doctor. And I'm not just sort of spewing my old, same old, same old. I'm, I'm really serious about this because taking biotin, um, number one, you can actually take too much, which is the case with most supplements and vitamins, by the way. Uh, it actually can interfere with lab tests that you may need to have ordered for just regular stuff. It also can interfere with other medications that you're taking. So you don't want to just buy bottles and just start taking it. You really got to talk to your doctor about this and make sure they think it's okay for you to try. So, you know, again, the takeaway is that we don't have a lot of good evidence that really suggests that biotin really does help hair and nails, but some people may find that it helps. And for some people, it may be reasonable for them to take, but they got to talk to their doctor first to see um, if that's actually the case. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you take biotin, if you have in the past, if you felt like it had helped you, um, what you think, if you talk to your doctor about it, what they said. I want to know all of it. <laughs> Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. For those of you who send stars on Facebook, I so appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, I would respond to you personally. For those of you who send supers on YouTube, I do the same. Thank you, and I will respond to you personally. Also, 
Uh, please like and follow my page on Facebook, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell uh, on YouTube if you haven't, and consider joining my subscription groups. I have them on both uh, for exclusive content. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.